Hey, what is up, you guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Have you ever wondered how to make over 50 IG Reels and YouTube Shorts in less than 10 minutes, not using your face, only using Canva and Chat? GPT. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. A couple things that you're going to need is one, you're going to need ChatGPT. Obviously, I would advise you to get the plus version. It's pretty inexpensive, particularly if you're using it frequently. Sorry, there's some delay on the intro. But um, if you're using it frequently, get ChatGPT uh, Plus or ChatGPT 4. Then you're going to need a professional Canva account, the one that you actually pay for. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let me go ahead and share a screen. I got my I got my Panama mug. This is probably one of my favorite mugs. A buddy of mine actually got this from me. He's from his, he's from Panama. And, um, man, this cup has been with me for a minute, as you can see, got a little chip in it, but, uh, I love it because it's like a clay pot. Super dope. All right. So we're going to first We're going to first log into ChatGP Tizzle. Let's make this full screen. You guys don't need me. So, we're going to open up a new chat. All right. Now, uh, you want to make sure that the drop down is under ChatGPT4 because that's where we want to be at. We want to be under ChatGPT4. All right. Then I have this particular prompt, which I will place in the bottom of this video. Uh, so, what it says is it create me a 50 set of facts, same style. With the examples below uh, in in a format table so, so what we want to do is we want to have a table and I'll show you why in a minute and these are going to be workout facts how to build a muscle how to lose body fat and easy nutrition facts and more they'll be formatted in a topic format bop, 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 bop. Uh, I'll place this at the bottom of this video. You guys can customize it. However, I would also advise that you place any examples in it because any examples for ChatGPT, it's really going to help. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit um, submit. Boom. Now, while this is working, work in the gherkin i'm going to go ahead and hop over to canva hopping over to canva then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click create design we're going to do type in ig or instagram reel instagram Instagram, good thing I know how to spell. We're going to go Instagram rail. Now what we want to do is we want to pick a cool background for this video. So this video is going to be about five seconds. I actually kind of want to shrink this. Yeah, let's do four seconds. The shorter that it is and the more content that's on the video that takes longer to read, the more views you'll get just out of default because people can't read. It's in four seconds. So there's a cheat code there. So what we want to do is let me look out. Let me look up workout. Let's see what pops up. <clears throat> oh, pretty dope. She's doing, she's running. Ideally, you want to do a couple sets of these so your Instagram doesn't look all the same, right? 
This is cool. I'm going to go with this one. Boom. All right. Boom. All right. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to, for the sake of the video, I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm using a template. Normally I wouldn't use a template like this, but the Canva has some awesome templates. So um, I'm going to take this here, shrink this up. <clears throat> Canva is super awesome, guys. Let's see. Let's bring this right there. That's cool. I'm going to change the transparency on it just a little bit. So we're going to make it like... 30 we're going to do the same to this one okay we're going to bring this one down too all right now this is going to be the topic okay and then let's check out gpt where are we at so we got part one and then we got part two cool let's see Oh man, look at this. Hydration hype. Hydration goes beyond water. Include fruits, vegetables, and their water content. Super awesome. So then we're going to do, let's do, let's change this to part one. And then we're going to bring this to part two. I'm going to delete the rest here. Part two. I'm going to shrink a little bit because it's a little big. And then what we want to do, we want to bring the context of these boxes out to the sides of the border just like that. Okay. Boom. So that's how we want it to look, right? All right. <clears throat> Let's bring this down a little bit. Let's. Cool. All right. So the next thing we have the layout that we want. I'd probably put your logo here. you know, or a call to action or something here. But uh, then what we're going to do is um, let me move this loom over. So we're going to make the adjustments. Those of you that didn't see that because I just realized that I wasn't on the screen. <laughs> Silly me. You got to look at the screens guys. my bad. Um, you're just going to make sure that they're evenly spaced. And then the text box is to the border of, of the, uh, of the image. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go down here and then we're going to go to bulk create. That's under the app section under bulk create. Then we're going to do enter data manually. And then we're going to highlight <clears throat> all of these images here or all of this stuff here. Okay. Looks like it didn't finish this last one, but you can continue to generate. But so then we're going to hit paste. So there we go. So now we have topic, part one, and part two. All right. 
Boom. Then we're going to hit done. And then we want to map this to the particular fields, right? So the way I did that is I just click the box, then I hit the hot dog up here, and then I go connect data, and then go to part two, and go right here, the hot dog, connect data, part two. I'm gonna shrink this. There we go. Boom. All right, <clears throat> then we're gonna go ahead and click, we're gonna lock these in place here. Uh, I'm not going to lock these. Um, they're not super long. Let's see how it turns out. If not, we can redo it. But, you know, what locking does, it locks the position of the font. Um, you know, so it's not going to move up and down. Boom. It quickly generated 28, uh, 28 videos. You can go ahead and adjust this here. So check it out. Boom. So you want to go in here and kind of make some of these adjustments, but, um, you know, you can play around with the font and the spaces in between here. There you go. Look at this. Then you got this one right here. You know, you can just go in and make these slight adjustments. You can lock the font. Um, you're going to want to play around with it. But let me just show you how this looks. Then from here, you simply can just export them. And then it'll export everything. But let me just show you how one of these look. How cool is this? This is how you create a faceless YouTube channel. So let's zoom out. Or faceless IG Reels. Click it. Boom, look at that. How cool is that? How cool is that? It just created 20, uh, 20 reels. Just created 28 something reels, 50 reels, whatever it is. Um, ChatGPT didn't complete generating, but you know, I wanted to make this video short. You guys get the point. Um, I'm gonna keep these videos as raw as possible. Uh, let me know if you like this video. Um, cause I will drop in some more Canva hacks. I hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll catch you on the next video.